Good morning. Today, we're going to have some fun. Today is going to be a play day at 6 a.m. on Saturday. I just finished working 15 days in a row, 12 hour shifts. And now it turns out that Broski got his 39s on his 80 series. And uh, he lives about two hours south from me. And we're going to have a play day. We're going to fit his 39s. And uh, it's going to be a great day. This is the first time I've been videoing on a mount here. It looks a little shaky. We're just testing the audio. Hands free. And all that jazz. And, uh... Yeah, we're just having fun with the LX. And, uh... It's a good time to be alive. Just come join the fun. I'm going to be videoing today. Um... Because I like videoing. I like sharing things with people. <coughs> and, um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Signing off. Got some, uh, slinky coils in the back. Those are my intermediates. And, uh, I got my heavies in. I put them in for towing, but uh, I'm gonna put my intermediates in back in probably today. Or I might even do some stock coils and some spacers. To prove a point. Anyways, later. All right. We're fitting 39s on Broski's rig. We're trying to figure out what we're going to have to do with the fenders. We're articulating. Here's the man of the hour. Broski himself. The infamous Broski. See that, Gary? This, this tread is narrower at the top. Isn't that awesome? It it's is. just it's like a Praxis. MTR. It's an MTR carcass looking thing. 39, 12 and a half. All right. We first had to figure out how much bump stops it would be before you cut, and it turns out to be about four to four and a half inches. In the end, uh, it ended up on two and a half inch bump stops to uh, clear it in full articulation. And then the rest of the video behind this is how we got there. All right, enjoy the video. All right, fitting 39s. And we got that side off, and we're up in the bump stop, uh, up as far as we can go. And what is that? We're about now two inches away. And we got. The L like that. That's and our, our rubbing here is here. Let me put my own turn my and we're actually touching right here. I wasn't there doing. All right. Three and a half inch bump stops. And we're just documenting right now. It's hitting, just hitting right here. We're gonna have to remove this outer edge. 
If it was a three inch back set instead of three and a half, it would be like golden. But you know, Metal Tech Mark did that like 15 years ago. And that's what they ended up with, three inch backspace nines. Dumb. All right, four inch backspace, four inch bump stops on the pan hard bar side. <laughs> and it's sticking about a quarter inch out more than the other side. All right, and I can't stick my hand in there, but we're probably an inch away from it. Broski's doing something. Oh, I'm gonna get we schooled. We should tape all that first, right? No, no, well, it'll buff out. It will. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I think you're going kind of, I think you're going too aggressive on that, but we'll, we'll see. Well, we can cut this down. We can cut both of these down. All right. Well, it's, you know what, the pin is going a little. See the light. You're venturing where not too many have gone before. <laughs> this is a new frontier, kind of, sort of. Not many dudes do this. I'll make that bad boy flat. Cut anything? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's clear. Beauty. Anybody want a slice of pie? We're gonna have some 80 pie. All right, we're gonna shove the tire up in there now. Eventually, I'm going to cut all that out. Right? All right, we're on two and a half inch bump stops. Tire, sorry, bro. Came across, not moving. Hi, sweetie. What's up? Do we have any wire? Alrighty, we're doing a straight up. We're on two inch bump stops. We might have to go to two and a half when we do the articulation. Totally cool. This is, this is the uncut side here. And just barely touch it. Cone bump's about ready to touch too. Go beans.
told her when I was 50, I wasn't napping yet. I was 40, I was doing backflips. No. I'm no, I get it. I'm videoing. I was still um I was still surfing hard, dude, when I was when I was 40. Oh that's right, surfing man. So did you get any surfing in actually a turf and surf? Alright, so now we just have some before and after pictures. Uh just for reference. So there it is. Uh with before we cut, I had him shove a soda can in there which is five inches. And then uh after we cut we made a measurement. As you can see in the picture, it came out to about seven and a half, seven and three quarters. Again, these are all really rough, crude uh, measurements, nothing final. Here's some random pictures of how it sat. Now these are coils that are different, but they're sitting exactly the same uh, height as his previous ones. Came out to about four inches of lift, fresh, empty. And when I sat on the tailgate, it went down to three inches of lift. And they're rated up to 600 at two, uh, two inches. And uh, so that's about right. So with another guy sitting on the tailgate, it'd probably come down to a two and a half uh, inch lift. So we're going to update you more on the pictures as far as the coils. And uh, here's a video behind. Oh, here. So here's the 39, 12 and a half. Those wheels are a three and a half inch backspace, nine inch wheel. Three and a half inch backspace, nine inch wheel. Here's some pictures of before that he sent me on his phone. And now we're going to have a video behind this as far as what the coils are. I'll get you more updates on all that as far as where all this cutting and, and the uh, lift kit lands. All right, God bless. Gary having fun with the LX and I'm out. All right, we're over here at Broski's. He, he got these Tour Flex coils. I'm gonna tell you all about them. Here's completely empty by the 39s way. 39s on. And we're cutting fenders. Okay. And then we're later gonna put these coils on. What we have here is a 75 intermediate slinky, and then we have a 50 millimeter uh, tour flex coil. They're pretty close, but there are some uh, differences. Um, first of all, it's like a half inch taller, and I'll show you that. Here's the spring rates for this rear 50 millimeter on 72.50, and this is a 160. 270 just quick and dirty uh, here because we're on carpet and the vehicle's leaning a little bit and I shoved that in the wrong way it's actually it's 21 and a half 21 and a half and then this one is 21 these are the shorter Passenger side coils. <clears throat> the Red Tour Flex, nine and a half turns, ten and a half turns, 75 millimeter versus 50 millimeter. Here's our thicknesses of the wire, 19.5 here, and transitions to 14.5. These coils are 19 and transition down to 16. All right, here, this is how we count the coils. Actually, you can do it this way. i do it this way. All right. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a half. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, and a half. All right. So these are LX450 stock spring rates. This is FZJ80 stock spring rate, and 250 is compared to an 863, 863 coil Old Man Emu 
2863, they call those the heavy coils. These are the intermediates. And these are 270. And the ones I have in right now are 160, 320 pound. And I think those are in like the 20 to 20 and a half um, millimeters. Well, I'll do the specs on those later when I pull them out. All right, so about the only thing left we need to do is get a fender to center hub measurement. But since we're cutting, we're gonna get a frame bump stop measurement. Okay, from frame to the axle, the stock is approximately 4.09 inches. It's pretty anal, isn't it? 4.09. All right. Having fun with the LX. And I'm out. I'll get you guys some more information. So, these are a pretty legit coil. We're going to see how they perform and we'll report back to you guys. And then uh, put those videos together as one complete video. Alright. Thank you for your time. Happy trails. Alright, let's get the free height on the driver. Left hand side. I'm hitting up here. Okay, quick and dirty specs is you know, pretty much 22. 22 and some change. But nothing to report back. We'll see how those are um, compared to the spec. The spec number and I'll report back on that to you also. Alright, take take happy trails. This has been a forexadventures.com and a big dreams in video. More to come.